Hello and welcome to Get Fishing. Today I'm going to give you the basics on getting started and Russian fishing for. Uh, get familiar with your hotkeys. You can check this out anytime. Uh, the bait that I like to use and mosquito is the maggot. Uh, you can use the regular worms that you'll be digging up the whole time, but maggot works really good for catching just about everything. Um, what you want to focus is the big fish, like tench and stuff. This is a basic feeder setup. Um, once you get your little basic reels and stuff, throw some decent line on there. Get you a cheap bail, get you a cheap sinker. Uh, don't go with this hook, but <laughs> you want to use whatever uh, hooks you can afford. Uh, the stars will indicate that they're better and stuff like that. So this is a spot I fish at most of the time when I'm at Mosquito. Just fish right here with your floats. Uh, mainly once you get your feeder rods, uh, you can start targeting out in this area. You can also throw over by the reeds too. Um, you can fish along the whole area, but this is where I found most of the fish were right through this area. Uh, solid through the night and through the day, uh, catching fish on floats and on the feeders once you're able to afford those. Uh, what you want to do, you want to just get your floats in there and kind of set them down. You want to keep them as close to the weeds, like I said. Uh, you can move and position your floats around and uh, by moving your mouse left and right. Uh, you can pull back and stuff like that, just kind of position them around wherever you want. Once you get a bite, what I do is I just hold down left mouse button and right mouse button, just look up. And um, they usually bring it in every time. Uh, sometimes you don't catch them, but that's the whole thing with float fishing. Uh, that's why you get a little more XP, I guess. It's a little harder. You gotta watch it the whole time. You can't just let it sit there. Uh, sometimes you can catch them by just sitting there. Tinch are good to catch. Um, they give the most XP when you're really, really low. Well, not the most, but they give decent XP uh, for really low and decent gold returns or silver returns. Um, this is where you can see your fish. You can kind of sort them around however you want. What not. You can see which ones are valuable by the little... Uh, the yellow check marks and stuff like that. All right, so in your free time, you want to be digging for some worms to level up your harvesting. You can dig pretty much wherever you want. Uh, I don't think it really matters. It's whatever feels good to you. You can buy the shovel over here at the workshop. Um, it's fairly cheap for a low level. I recommend getting it ASAP. Next you can get is a flay knife to make fish pieces. Uh, then you can get the scoop which gets you blood worms and night crawlers and all the other. So then you want to head over to the grocery store, get you some food. I recommend getting some bread. It's got four uses and it's fairly cheap. Uh, next, you can continue leveling harvesting by making baits and stuff. Buy you some wheat, uh, get you some sunflower oil, and grab you some garlic. This will help you make the garlic dough, which is good for catching the brim. Uh, the alcohol that I recommend using is the cheap stuff. Next, if you can't figure out what to catch some fish on, go to Wreckage and Ratings and you can look and see what people are catching the trophies on and then kind of modify your bait off of that. Uh, here's your player profile. You can see all kinds of cool stats about what you've been doing while you've been fishing. And next, we're going to talk a little bit about the tackle that I recommend using. Uh, you want to go for your feeder rods. You can get the long ones or you can get the short one. It don't really matter. It's up to you on what you like to use. Uh, this is the second type of rod that I recommend getting once you get your 7.5 reels. Uh, here's the first reels that you'll be getting at low level and then you want to be working towards the 5.5s uh, which you're gonna probably be getting into those around the third or fourth lake uh, and this is the 7.5s that you'll be probably getting into once you get to Cory. Um, that's where your money starts coming in. This is the line that I like using on the small reels. Um, it's a decent line and it's worked for me the whole time. Um, you can see on the reels kind of what type of line and how much line can be on the reel just like you would see in any reel that you buy at the store. Uh, so that's why I go with these types of lines because it worked great for me. And for the second types of reels you're going to be using um, I used a line that was a little heavier than what uh, was recommended, but it brought in all the fish quite well, and I never had any problems with breaking a reel, and it worked great the whole time. 
I would also recommend getting a different kind of float just so you can see it a little better. Um, it helped me out quite a bit. Hooks are pretty important. Uh, if you notice fish getting off the line and stuff like that, you need to get better hooks with better quality. Uh, I recommend getting medium eights for brim and the large ones for just kind of whatever you want once you get the money. Um, and these are the hooks that you want to work towards. Uh, once again, I would go for the eight medium and then probably get the one aughts or you can test the bigger ones. Supposedly the bigger the hook, the bigger the fish you catch. All right, next up is going to be your sinkers. Um, there's a couple different types. Uh, what I've been wrestling with is, is these beginner ones. I uh, haven't really found a difference yet, except for how fast it sinks to the bottom. Um, which is nice when you get to lakes that are deeper. Uh, you can use leaders if you want to, uh, if you don't want to lose your gear. It's nice to put a leader on if your gear gets a little more expensive. But uh, these are the ones I'm kind of using right now, just so I don't destroy my reel and break anything. It's a little more pricey, like my bells are more pricey now. Uh, here's the feeders that I initially get because they're cheap and they worked for me the whole time. Um, that one I think is a little better with not getting hung up. So you want to start leveling up your ground bait. Uh, buy some ground crackers and, and get you some fly maggots. Uh, these are the only two that I use leveling up. Mostly what I catch is brim. You can get more stuff, additives, recipes call for different things if you're making specific ones. Or you can just kind of wing it and figure things out on your own based off what you know from fishing already um, it shows you the skill level and what you need to be at for certain ones if it's obviously a different color if it's white you can use it if it's orange you cannot next you're gonna want to get a net uh, that just helps you land the big fish when they're trophies and stuff like that um, or you can just land bigger fish when they get a little closer so that pretty much sums it up thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe and like and keep fishing and learn as much as you can. Tight lines.